Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tatiana. Hello. But you can call me Ari. <laughs> and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about embracing your singleness, dedicating this week's video to my sisters. If you haven't watched last week's video, I would highly recommend that you do. And Honestly guys, I did not expect that video to be so well received. I've gotten a lot of comments and you know, person saying, yo, like, yo. But so today I want to share with you ladies, five things that you should be maximizing on in your season of singleness. Now just a few disclaimers, right? I'm not telling anybody to jump out of their relationships, to be single to do those things. No, <laughs> a lot of what I'm about to tell you is achievable while you're in a relationship, a healthy, godly relationship. However, I still want to put these, these points out there because if you are in your season of singleness, I honestly believe that these are some things that you should be considering. So without further ado, let's go so number one your season of singleness is perfect for self-improvement there are a lot of things that we tend to overlook in our desire to be in a relationship simple things like bad habits or routines that we need to develop um, these are like just personal things that you should be looking at in terms of you know making yourself better what are some bad habits that you have what are some things that you know really need to just dash away right and this is not necessarily for everyone because you want to be in a relationship but just for you like what do you want to do personally for you in terms of habits or you know routines and common things that are just not healthy. Think about your season of singleness as that time where you can really boss up, right? And not like that intimidating Instagram kind of boss up, but just really boss up your personal life and yeah, get rid of those bad habits and stuff. <laughs> Number two, being single is a season for growing your faith understand why you believe what you believe you know use this as this time where you can really seek god do you need to improve certain things like fasting or your prayer life in this season of my life i have definitely singleness <laughs> i've definitely seen where my faith has improved and when i speak of faith i mean generally your relationship with God how do you see God how do you go about seeking the things of God learning how to trust God being obedient um, when we when we look at Queen Esther you know as a single woman you know before she you know the ring on um, we observe her as a woman who was obedient to God's call, to God's order. And because of her obedience, she was able to do so many other things, right? And so we should really, as women, look at this season of singleness as that time where we can really grow in our faith. Number three, in your season of singleness, you are more susceptible to spiritual maturity and this somewhat ties into number two but i really just want to add that as you begin to grow you will start to see fruit you will start to get a better understanding of where god wants you to go so in addition to growing in your faith and doing these practical things like praying and drawing closer to god by reading your bible and all of those things you will find that you begin to grow spiritually and also bear spiritual fruit and you can use these fruits to help somebody else in this game called life we all play a part of somebody else's life and so i really believe that in your season of singleness as you're being groomed as you are being transformed 
and it doesn't have to look like this light coming out of the sky kind of thing but the day by day step by step opportunity that you have to spend time with God and have him prune you and nurture you and grow you so that I feel like preaching when Boaz ha sees you in that field gleaning <clears throat> you'll be ready do not be afraid to use this time and really lean into God fully like a hundred percent and this doesn't stop when you go into a relationship but you will step into that new phase with a, a, a mature mindset or spiritually enlightened spiritual maturity the time is now number four your season of singleness is perfect for achieving your personal goals and when i say personal goals i mean that business that you want to start <laughs> that channel that you want to start that 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 blog page that you want to put up your personal dreams and aspirations that you have for your life in terms of a career or something that you always wanted to do and again i'm not telling anybody to you know like i'm not telling any young woman to like break up with your boyfriend because you want to start a youtube channel or you want to you know really get that career path going i mean if god tells you that then that's a guan sometimes that's a guan right but <laughs> get it clear this is a time where you can make some boss moves when it comes on to your your career path or your your the personal steps that you want to take in your life because if you don't do this and you step into a new atmosphere like being in a relationship or getting married that opportunity span is going to decrease drastically because like it or not you will have many times um to compromise or you know worst case scenario find out that you have to put your dreams on the back burner right and that's not fair let that compromise come at a better time when you have an understanding or you already have your foot in the door don't say that you know when i get married i'm gonna start working on opening up my school or my dance studio no sis get the ball rolling because at the end of the day you don't want to regret not using this opportunity and then you start coveting your singleness and then you start gear husband body eye and all of those things so yeah now's the time to really maximize on the opportunity to achieve those big goals start making moves towards those big goals and last but definitely not least number five being single is the season of being unbothered there i i said it and i said it in my last video you have the opportunity to relax and enjoy the simple pleasures of life without having anybody to tell you what to do right and trust me when you are ready to be in a relationship those things won't feel like a burden and it's not supposed to but again this is just shedding some light on the things that you're probably not looking at right now as a single woman that's why I'm here showing it to you so you get it it's a season of just enjoying your life getting to know yourself getting to know the things that you like right so that when yes yeah, see i'm connecting the dots <laughs> when the brother come and ask you what you like i can tell him right and you can say it in confidence and you know the things that you stand for you know the things that you will not accept and you just have a better understanding of what you are about you can do so many things have the freedom to so Okay, that kind of creepy but yeah you guys get the point <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video please share it with somebody 
share it with your single mother, your single auntie, right? Your single niece, your single cousin. Share it. Like this video. I'd really appreciate that, guys. And if you have not subscribed as yet, <coughs> Let me say that again. If you haven't subscribed already, I would really, really appreciate if you could just tap that subscription button and the notification bell so you can see when I post. And trust me, guys, I have so many dreams <laughs> for this channel. And I just really pray and hope that I will remain obedient, obedient, obedient. To the voice of God and to whatever it is that he wants me to do there are so many inspirational women from the Bible who took on not necessarily took on but were still able to do so many things for God in their season of singleness and like it just inspired me so much some of these women I didn't even know that I didn't know them number one and didn't know that they were single and I will be putting a link to this blog post that I discovered it's called milk and honey and you guys can check it out you can read through like the list of um, women and how they actually went about serving God and being obedient to God in their season of singleness thank you guys so much for watching my video I love you all and I will see you guys in my next video bye